Hey y'all, we got about two minutes before 8 p.m. Y'all know I'm live every Monday night at 8 p.m. It's pretty neat. I was trying to do an hour for a long time, and then I just went to half an hour because, whew, that was a lot. It was a lot. So I am just waiting on folks to get on. Let's see if we get... I guess I should do this. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Oh, hey, I got two people on. Let me see who it is. Actually, it's Probably. Let's see. We have Pinky and Janice. Hey, hey. Hey, y'all. I'm so glad to see y'all on. Janice, I want to talk to you about stuff. Um, give me a shout when you can. Um, so, okay. Hey, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited. I'm kind of full of myself right now because um, we got a Costco. A real Costco, like our very own Costco. And it's kind of like a sandbox for grown-ups because you go there and you play with all the things and then people give you free snacks. Like, we walked around, I kid you not. Okay, first of all, because we're kind of fluffy, the first thing we worry about is what are we going to eat? So we go over to the little snack bar thing and, um, <laughs> and we go over there and um, we... I don't even remember what I had. It was a hot turkey and cheese sandwich, I think. And it was on this really wonderful bread, but I have to take off a lot of the bread. So anyway, it's still good. And Ninja Man had um, some kind of a chicken something wrapped in heavenly goodness. That yeah, was really good. So then we walk around the store, and like I said, it's like a sandbox. And they're like, snack time. And they had cake. We ate it. They had... Um, <laughs> they... They had cinnamon buns, little cinnamon, like this big cinnamon buns. We bought a whole box. <laughs> I separated them up and I put, I had little Ziploc bags and I put them in the, in the, um, <laughs> in the freezer so that we won't go crazy because we're so fluffy. That's what we would do. We would just eat them. Bought, um, chocolate chip cookies and a pair of shoes. I mean, who does this, right? But we did. And, um. Gosh, I don't even know what else, but kind of full of myself because I've been to Costco for the first time. I had never even seen one. Yes, Janice, and guess what? I'm going to bring some yummy treats to our event in October. I am. I've, I've already picked out a bunch of stuff that I think we all need in order to live a normal life. So I'll be Cos Costco in the place. All right, let's see. Let's see who is here. All right, we're ready. It's 8.01. And I see we got some extra um, viewers, but I don't know who it is. So hello, whoever you are out there. And, oh, my hat says Orange Beach. I, I know it's backwards for y'all, but if I switch it around, I have to switch it again. Oh, and it's Monday. It's no makeup Monday. There's no makeup on here. Because really, I was just tired, okay? Because I've been in the sandbox all day at Costco playing and eating snacks. And that takes a lot of energy. All right, I'm going to flip you around, and I'm going to have the, um, I'm trying to get the technology where I won't have to do that, so we'll see. Hi, Karen! Yay! Okay, I'm not going to get emotional when certain people join my, my uh, Facebook Live. I did last time because my grandchildren were on, and Karen's grandchildren was, grandchild was on, and it was so sweet. Okay, okay, so um, I'm going to flip you around now, so please hold. Don't look if you get drunk easy. I flip this. Sorry about the Band-Aid, but that's, that's how I roll, y'all. I've always got a Band-Aid on because I fight tigers every day. Every day. Hold on. Come on over. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now... I'm going to show y'all something pretty fabulous. Okay, 
first of all, uh, yeah, I'll show you this in a minute. Okay. First of all, I went to this thing over the weekend, and really I should hold this till the end. But I'm going to show you now. Hi, Leanne. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Leanne Smith, she's on our, um, she's joined our little uh, group here today. So this was hers and Jenny, and I don't know Jenny's last name. I'm so sorry. But she and a wonderful lady named Jenny, they put together what is called a, uh-oh, <clears throat> Help me, Leanne. Not shoebox swap. Was it a shoebox swap? Is that what it's called? Oh, can I turn my volume up? Yes. Let me see. Let's see. Is that better, Pinky? Oh, Karen, it was so much fun. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, volume's all the way up. Is that, um, Pinky, is that better? I'll speak up a little bit. But did you hear my whole story about Costco? That's the important stuff. Hello? All right, so um, Jenny and Leanne did this amazing event over the weekend. I went on Saturday, and I'll tell you, y'all, I loved it. So what happened is you have a box, and, like, you bring all the parts to your card. And there's, you know, so many, so many um, boxes. I don't know, maybe we had 12, 14, I'm not sure. And you go, you sit in front of that box, and you make that card. And there's an example of the card sitting up there in the box. And, and there's directions. And then you move to the next one and you do the next one. And it was for demonstrators. And Karen, you got to go with me for sure. And Janice, I would love for you to as well because y'all are both on my team. Um, you can go with me for the um, occasions catalog after on stage because Leanne and Jenny are going to do another one. Yay! Okay. So here's one of the cards we made. It Listen. Can you hear the little bell? It's so cute. I got, you know, I got to kind of get on the roll here. Inside, it says, Wishing you a Christmas filled with love and happiness. Merry Christmas. This was really cool. Um, this is the stamp that, that it's a new technology that you can use one stamp and it stamps both this side and that side. So you use both sides of the stamp. It's photopolymer. However, the way the, um, the lady that designed this card, um, the way she did it, hey Stacy, the way she did this card was she used the Stamparatus. So we had one thing that folded down and it stamped this red and this red. And then the other one folded this way and it stamped this green and this green. And then we put our um, adhesive on this little piece of paper and stuck it down. And on here, we stamped this and tied our little bow. And there we go. Isn't that cute? And it, every single card I'm going to show you tonight fits in an A2 envelope. Of course, if you're going to mail something like this, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to put it in a padded envelope or it won't make it. Okay, so there's that. All right. And this one, there is a... Um, this, these are all in the new catalog, which you can't see until September, oh dear, I want to say 4th. Um, congratulations, Robin. I'm excited for you. We'll have to talk about that. Um, September 4th, I think it is, that our holiday catalog goes live. But you see all the pretty gold? And this this is just the paper here. It's a white cardstock with a gold trim. That's not layered. And... Um, we have this piece of designer series paper, which you can see has a beautiful gold line going through it. Just a strip of the of the green. I would love to use the correct terms, but you know me. I don't remember anything. Um, we stamped Merry Christmas. This is a full circle white and then a half circle red. And then we put the tree on with a little bit of bling and tied the little ribbon on. And I think, yeah, it's blank on the inside. So that's one we made. Okay, y'all get ready for this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so this is a punch. And what we did, we punched it out first. It's it's a shape of, a, of an ornament. Punched it out first. Then we ran it through this new um, embossing folder that makes it, it... There's several ways to look at this. It could be like hammered metal. Or it could look like kind of like an alligator skin or something. Um, but in this case, it looks like ha hammered metal. 
and the stamp is actually it's like a reverse instead of it stamping out the words Merry Christmas it stamps out the background so that's actually stamped I thought it was like something she glued on there but but no it, it wasn't pre-made I stamped it and I'm like oh my goodness and this is the sprig punch and then some beautiful um, ribbon um, we have the um, oh poo this stuff <laughs> Can't stay long, just had to jump in. Love that coffee cup stamp. Okay, I'll try and go a little faster, Stacy, because we got to get through these cards. And um, the Sprig Punch and Vellum, y'all. Vellum. And then this background paper here. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then the inside we stamped and colored this. Okay. All right, this, this is just cute as can be. It's a sweet little moose. He's got a little bell. It doesn't ring like the other bell does. Um, he's got little moose tracks. We've got a uh, plaid background and these trees. You know how I've, I've shown you how to stamp on um, and you get the dark color, but if you stamp on your, you ink your stamp up, you stamp on your paper, and then you come back and stamp like here, then you get the, the lighter shade and it gives it depth. That's what's here. This is, this is directly on. This is stamped off once just like okay and then we put little sequins on okay this was it was such a pleasure to just get to a card that was so easy just gone, done 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 um she had already prepared everything and it was super duper easy but it's really cute and i love this card so sweet um it's got this textured embossing folder on the background i wasn't sure i needed and now i think i do thank you janice yes um, vellum. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this one, I'm crazy about this card. Crazy about it. Um, this is, of course, a die, and the skate and all of its pieces are a die, and there's a background green, and then the white lays on top of that, and if you can look under the gold here, you'll see a little bit of white because the blade is there, and then you put the gold on top, and the little ribbon there and the background is beautiful and then on the inside so easy to do this y'all have seen me make the um, designer series paper with your stamps and um, yes it's this this one here is very clean looking it is and super simple um, but I just stamped all around I stamped this first and then just went all around it it was super simple and it kind of looks snowy you know okay this is a sweet little fall card you know, I didn't even bring my card over that I, that I made. Oh, well, it's, oh, it's right there. I might jump over there and grab it. Um, a series of leaves. And if you look real closely, you might see that they actually have um, the little veins in them. So when you run it through the big shot, it actually has the, the veins. And then the stamp was so crisp and so pretty. I love it. And we're going to do some cool stuff with some fall leaves, y'all. Um, this is, I thought that was the new gold. Maybe not. Uh, no, it isn't. It isn't. The new gold is right next. Um, so we just stamped it like that, the way she designed it. There's, there's just two strips of the, um, of this brownish color, which, you know, I can't remember names. And anyway, that's, the two strips are glued onto the background. Now, this is the new gold ink and I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry y'all and I can't show it to you in the um in the catalog yet. This punch is the exact same punch. You punch it once like this, punch it a second time in yellow, cut it down the middle, spread them out and lay them down together and you pop them up if you want to, which we did. That's so cool. I love that when your tool has more than one use and of course it has the same type leaves. I'm going to grab the card that I made. Please hold. Here we go. It's right here. Right here. Okay. So, this, um, in my kit, I had already, I didn't realize that, um, Del, 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 Delicata, Delicata, I think I pronounced it right, Metallic Inks. Thank you, Leanne. Delicata right here. See, I love you guys. I mean, y'all know I can't remember squat. I only retain water, okay? 
only retain what anyway so I had already um, put this through the big shot and we've got like a, a wintry scene back there and I used an oval scalloped oval here to do the brown and I stamped my little deer and punched him out I wanted something that was not all feminine because I love to make a guy card and it is always such a challenge to me um, and I just put thank you on there they could put any sentiment they want and I used the sprig punch in different colors and I added this little bit of red here just to give it some some color okay here um, our card tonight oh really <laughs> please hold it's over here I know it is I didn't show y'all the Santa card hold on hold on Oh, here it is. Silly me. Silly me. Okay. Here's one of the cards that one of the ladies did. Um, Leanne, do you know who made this card? Because it was so sweet. Um, trying to remember whose station it was at. I don't remember. But it was just so cute. So simple. And this is the card we're going to make tonight. But there's going to be a little twist to it. All right. I'm going to really just follow her pattern just like this. Um, and the reason I chose this one, not only because it's cute, and y'all know I've been doing the snowman thing, but um, I don't remember either, Leanne. Uh, I should look in the pictures. I get No, that wouldn't help either because we were at different tables. But anyway, um, one of the things I love about this is it's also an A2 card. All right, It's going to fit perfectly in the envelope, just like this. Okay, But it's a different fold. See? So... I mean, it's just, you know, it's it's not the traditional open and close book fold or whatever you want to call it. I'm sure it's got a special name. So we're gonna use so I use this as a as an inspiration to make the card for tonight. And let's see. I've already stamped everything because y'all know how to do that. And I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, this is what I was going to show you earlier, and I thought, well, let me wait until I get everything together. Okay, this set here is called New Wonders, and it's it's such a sweet little card. I've got grand girls. I've got um, three grand girls and two grandsons, and I mean, with three grand girls in the house, or not in the house, but in the family, you know, I can use this so much, and we have puff paint now. We have... Um, blink uh, glittery type um, embellishments that we can use so much that we can do with this so here's the set in the um, catalog this is the 2019-2020 catalog and I used this as inspiration to color her because y'all I had to do it twice when I tried to do it my own way guess what yeah okay that happened so I, I just copied these colors and because Stampin' Up! has real seriously professional artists so why am I going to try and improve on that right and I just colored it just like they did and I stamped some leaves around just to give it some some pretty so this is called New Wonders it's $13.50 which is a great price and it's a distinctive stamp which means it kind of it kind of stamps out almost like an old photo or something it's not perfectly perfect lines like this okay and I'm hoping we're going to get a chance to do one more card that's one of my favorites that I did on Saturday um, okay so I, I cut this and I'll tell you how I'll tell you the measurements this and why the band-aid because I live with band-aids okay um, this is about eight and a quarter by about four and a quarter okay eight and a quarter about four and a quarter we're going to sc we scored this at two and three quarters which you know yeah yeah we probably need to do that two and three quarters um use the foam folder to smush it down real good all right this inside piece here i think it might go this way i might do it that way this inside piece is, and you can you can come back and see these measurements if you want. Five and a quarter by four. 
and one, two. See, I got my name on my on my tape because they said put your name on everything. So we even had our names on us, just in case we got lost. <laughs> and what happens every time I do a Monday Fun Day? I run out. But look, uh huh, I've got it figured out, y'all. Now you know I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I mean, you know, I've I've seen some ladies on YouTube that literally take out a measuring thing, and mm -mm, no, that that just that just irritate me. All right, I did use the um, the layering rectangles here, the rectangles, the stitched rectangle dies, and I cut this one. And I wish we could actually look at those and say it's die number so and so, but we can't. But you see the um, the stitching, the way it looks stitched around the edge. I just love these dies. Okay, I used it here as well. And I stamped those little leaves all over it. This is a, a direct from the ink pad onto this um, designer series paper. And this paper here is actually, this is the 2018-2020 in color. They're six by six. They're in the um, annual catalog right here. And they're super affordable. They're very easy. And you see, you can stamp on top of, um, on top of them because they're just they're just kind of gentle colors you know they're not bold and I just love them and they go with they go perfectly of course with the um, with the inks from the new in colors well not new anymore but the 2019 2020 in colors so every two years we get a new batch of in colors all right so I'm just going to put this on the flap and we'll compare this with the Christmas one before I'm done, or when I'm done, okay? So here we go. If y'all have any questions, just shoot them out there so I can say I have no idea. Mm -hmm. All right. And why these colors? I don't know. I just wanted something that the girls would enjoy. And I might, I don't know, I might put these up for Christmas or something. Okay, so right here's the tricky part. You don't want to put glue all around because what's going to happen? Uh-oh, you're going to stick everything together. So we're just going to glue just up here. And the best way to do that is, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going anywhere. Just put some glue on there, you know. Um, best way to do that is just like this. You know what? I can actually do this. Two and something. There we go. That actually looks centered. Ha <laughs> ha, who knows, maybe it isn't. I don't know, y'all. Okay, see, I'm, I'm getting a little perfect there. Oh, but I do like it. Oh, but wait, it, it's just a little bit goofy. Now, how did I do that? I just barely twisted. That's because I hadn't squished it down really hard. But had I squished it down really hard, I could take it up like this and huff on it like that until I almost pass out because the <laughs> the heat and moisture from your breath will actually help you to lift this this snail adhesive up so I'm gonna just forget that whole measurement thing and I'm just gonna do like this okay so see there's no glue back here all right all right so then um, I colored her with my watercolor pencils and I did not use any watercolor. I just, I just colored her like I showed you in the catalog, where she, um, she kind of looks like one that artist did. Okay, that couldn't have been more awkward, could it? All right, so I'm gonna put her right here. And you know, I mean, I was designing her, and don't, don't forget, you can put. You can put bling on here, which I think we're going to if I brought it. Yeah, yeah, I brought some little things here. Um, this is the Gingham Gala Adhesive Back Sequins. Now, these are no longer available. However, I'm showing you these because, number one, this card needs them. And number two, when you have, when you have materials that have, um, that have been retired, goodness go ahead you know use them um, I mean if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're doing 
classes and stuff, you know, I wouldn't. I would use only um, current things, but I use them all day long on little gifty things for my girls. So that's kind of cute. Just a few. We don't want. We don't want to go crazy. And remember, you go with three, five, seven. You don't want to go with four and two, four, six, eight because that that gets a little boring. Apparently, when you look at it, I don't know. Smart people have said it does. Okay. So this right here has a teeny tiny itty bitty happy birthday. I'm gonna show it to y'all right now. It's this itty bitty happy birthday. It's so stinking cute. Just a little bitty one. And when you're when you're four and you're getting your birthday card, and I'm just gonna tell y'all now that and thank you, Leanne. Oh, thank you, Courtney. Hey Courtney, I'm hoping to join your event at nine. Um, but when you're four, and, and y'all know I'm not going to cry, but Ren is about to turn five. This child is going to be five. I'll tell you, God has such a plan for her. She still has cancer, but she is on this um, trial med, and it is just kicking butt, we hope. She's going to have scans um, in October. Okay, so enough of that, but it's her birthday card, okay? So I'm going to put this. I kind of liked it down here, so she would, I don't know. I just kind of like it there. So I'm just going to go, eh, eh. and guess what, y'all? I am going to have time to throw that other one together real quick, because he's almost finished. Happy birthday right there. Is that not the cutest thing? And look at the difference. So when you see a card that you think, oh, that's cute, think about how you can do it different. You know, it's the same exact layout. And, and I'll tell you the truth. I struggle with that. When I see something like this, I have to make it exactly like that. But this, this is a great, it's just a great, um, this, this is a great inspiration, and this is a great alternate project. Now, I could come in and stamp a little yellow strip with the leaves and put it down at the bottom. I might do that. I don't know. I might just put a piece of ribbon because I'm not mailing it. I'm going to hand it to her. Okay, so those are done. Now i got to show you this cute little card. Again, I cannot show you the, um, the actual card in the catalog because it's in the catalog. You do need that snowman, Courtney. You do, you do. And there's some Halloween stuff, too. But my, my family doesn't do Halloween, so I didn't buy any of it. Okay, so this is um, same. It's the same exact size as a, as a regular card. It's an A2, but the fold is different. Okay, so it's cut long ways. This is 11, and this is 4 and a quarter. So if you have your other piece, it's eight and a half by eleven, and it's scored at five and a half, and it goes like this. Okay, so um, I would color him with my pencils, my little my little um, watercolor pencils. But first, hold on. See, we've got um, these strips of. Um, thank you, Janice. These. Um, Oh, come on. Stampin' Dimensionals, but they're straight. Okay, whatever they're called. We got those on the back to pop it up, all right? And this in the catalog, you're going to get three uh, gifts that go together like this. Nope. Please hold. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Get out of here. We've already seen you go. There. There we go. All right. Little bossy things. Okay, so you stamp three. And you come back and you stamp the gold ribbons, ribbon on them. And that's that real pretty shimmery gold that we used. So um, it does look, for some reason, all of them stamped this way. And I think it's also that distinctive kind of stamp. But I'll have to look at the book to be sure about that. So those are going to go on. And I actually have a picture to uh, make sure I do it right. But guess what? <laughs> it's on my camera. And my camera's filming this, so I can't look at it. So I'm just going to try and go by memory. We'll see how that works. Remember how I can only retain water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to really mess this up, but that's okay. Because it'll still be cute, right? Okay. 
we have a new shimmery, um, like a snowy stuff that you, okay, you put down your glue that it's a new glue. I'll have to tell y'all later what that is when I can show you the catalog. And then this goes on top and it, it's just, it's just like ice. I mean, it's hard as can be. And then I don't know if you can see right here, but on his little hat, there is the puffy paint stuff, the, um, that we heated up with, um, with a heat embossing, I mean a heat gun, and someone building something, are you at a dentist office? Oh, <laughs> Ninja Man's out there, he's left the door open, and <laughs> it took me a minute, he left the door open on the porch, and he's out there whittling with a Dremel, making a pipe of all things, anyway. He, he's in a smoking group, and they all have these special pipes. Okay, so <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, so there we go. Um, and when he's colored, y'all, he's adorable. So I'm just going to peel this up. And yes, this has a name. And if y'all want to know, you just ordered the cute little... Yes, Courtney, I know. Courtney, let me... For real, Courtney, $99, and you can get $155 worth of all of this. You get your choice. And it ends on the 31st, which means, got to get on it, girl. Talk to me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this over that. That whole set with the elves is stinking adorable. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm sure I've left off something very important. I don't know. But his little gifts, let me show you how we're going to do that. It'll be amazing if I even get this close. But it's so much cuter with it colored, y'all. I'm kind of sad because I don't have enough time to color them for y'all. You just ordered the cute little elves. Yes, yes, yes. So cute. I'm going to have to have those too, Karen. I am, I am. If y'all have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. I put a plea out the other day, and I ended up reaching one of my goals. Yay! And the crowd said, yeah! Right? Um, I'm using glue dots to stick these little gifts on. And, oh, come on now. Get on there. Crazy things. We're going to put two down there. And I might put one up here, or over here. I think I put it up here. She had them um, stacked up down here and, I don't know, one other somewhere. So we'll see. We'll see. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. But no, if y'all have not, um, if you've not yet subscribed, please do. It's Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed. And, of course, you see my host code here. I hope you can see it. Let me move it back down a little bit. And, Leanne, thank you. I, I hope I got this somewhat right. It looks like I'm missing something. I don't know. But um, anyway. And I can put a little gift inside here. I could put a bunch of them in. Just kind of. Because, you know, elves are kind of loosey-goose anyway. So we could, like, make it look fun. I stamped a bunch of extras because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about how it, um, how it stamped. But each of them stamped like that. And I like it. It's pretty cool looking. So, um, yeah, so here's my August Toast code. If you're going to order something, please use this code unless your order gets to $150. And then you, um, you can just place your order directly. Or better yet, sign up as a hobbyist for $99 and you get to pick $155 worth of goodies. Um, so that other card, I'm sorry, I meant to tell you I use layering squares. And I use the stitch shape framelits. You don't have to do all that. I could teach you how to do it without all that. Um, and the, where is he? All right, this card here used Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, and Highland Heather Inks. Okay, and then this one, of course, this looks like Pool Party. Thank you, Janice, I'm excited. Um, my next goal is to make the Silver Elite, and I'm very excited about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and color these. If y'all can hang around, we'll see how cute they are. And, um, and goodness, I wish I had his little picture here, but I'm just going to go ahead and color them real quick. And if you have to go, thank you so much for joining in. 
I love you guys, and I appreciate it. Y'all make my day. You make my day. You make my Mondays fun days. <laughs> so we're going to do this. And um, I was saying at the beginning, I am so spoiled because we have a Costco now. And like I, 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 I'm pretty sure it's like the coolest thing to hit town in a very long time. Very excited. Very excited. Okay, so got his little red hat. Oh, I should have put some little snow there. But you know what? I got some snow. So I could do that. And where's my other where's my other markers? Okay, let's see. Okay. Cha-cha-cha. Y'all know I'm going to sing. I always go cha-cha-cha. I don't know why. It just happens. This is Garden Green. I'm going to put him some green little shoes. Don't they wear little green shoes sometimes? I think so. I don't think he should be all red. He needs to be red and green, right? His cute little elf shoes, I can't stand it. All right, now I'm gonna use some um, silver or gold for his little bells. I'm gonna give him a green little shirt. And I know if y'all don't wanna watch me color, it will not break my heart. Y'all go ahead and and um, do what you got to do. But if you can stick around, we'll see how he turns out. How about that? Huh? Not going to take long. I just got to do a little bit on him. I'm going to give him red buttons. I don't even know if they have red buttons in, in the North Pole. But hey, you know, I can't really be perfect here because I don't know some things and give him a red collar too. How about that? Okay, so we're going to go red. Yeah, I don't want it to look like a barbershop pole, so I'm sh I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going every other one is red, which, yeah, that's barbershop, but he's not going to a barbershop. Look how long his hair is, for heaven's sakes. Heavens, uh-oh. So now I've got red behind his thing, but that's okay. It's just the way life is going to be. So we're going to go red and green. See? Here we go. He's so cute. I can't stand it. All right. There we go. And then um, we'll use like a kind of a gray. Um, come on now. I've got a gray. This is kind of a black. I don't like black. I had a gray. Maybe I'll put the gray over there. Maybe it's right here. Ding dong. Like a candy cane. Yes, yes. The red and white would be like a candy cane. Put a little gray right here just to make it look a little bit, I don't know. Forgot to go down here. Red and red. And I'm going to go green. And green. I forgot that part, y'all. Okay. Let's give him some hair. He can have, I want him to have brown hair. Everybody got blonde hair tonight. I want him to have brown hair. All of my grandkids have blonde hair except for Wren, and hers is brown. She looks just like her mama did back in the day. All right, um, his face. Let's go a little pink. This little bit of pink. This is Flirty Flamingo. Now, that, that's a dark pink, but we're just going to barely do it. Just to give him a little bit of color. And he could be a light tan. Or he could be he could be about any color you want him to be. He's an elf for heaven's sakes. I don't think there's a standard. Okay, so I'm gonna put some um some silver here or gold and same here. Now I think I'll use gold because of this gold. I'll go gold, gold, gold. And then this I might do some more puffy paint. And then this down here is gonna have some puff paint on it. So, what do y'all think of him? Isn't he cute? So this was actually one of the swaps that I did not get to finish. Um, I brought it home to finish. And, um, and I'm just thrilled to be able to do it with y'all. So there we go. That's tonight's little Monday fun day. And I really appreciate you guys joining Please go like my Facebook, I mean my um, YouTube channel if you have not yet. And share it with um, anybody you know that's crafty. 
and that might enjoy it. Tell them about Monday Fun Days. And don't forget, you can join for $99. Thank you, Janice. Um, but yeah, Janice, let's, let's get together on the phone as soon as we can. So, all right. That's everything. So thanks, you guys. And I appreciate y'all coming by. And um, Courtney, I'll try and check with you. See you, Karen. That's right, Karen. We got in the morning. Um, Courtney, I'll try and join you at 9 o'clock. And love you guys. Thank you. And God bless. Toodles.